So some people have been having some problems parenting in Animate, and it's due to the kind of order of operation in which you um, parent and uh, set up animation. So uh, I've already drawn out my arm, and I have extended my frames just by selecting and dragging and right-clicking and inserting frame. Right, so I've got a, t a frame span for each one of the parts that are separated by um, these layers. The first thing to kind of point out is that each one of these layers, um, I I've got joints and bones which will be connected. So I either have to rotate the, the joint or I have to rotate the bone and parent everything down. So joints and bones are always connected. Um, it's not like you're going to rotate the joint and also rotate the bone. You'll either do one or the other, not both. You'll rotate the joint and the bone will come along, or you rotate the bone and the joint will come along. So one of the two, you can't have both. It's not like a bone actually, a, a joint and a bone rotate separately. They're, they're actually combined and they're together. They pivot from the same point, right? So the other thing to note is I'm not using the 3D rotation tool. I'm using the free transform tool. I noticed some problems when using the 3D rotation tool when doing the parenting technique. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open up uh, the parenting slot. So you can kind of see um, this little gray area is how I parent things. Um, but before I do that, I'm going to figure out which one of these things, you know, whether the bone the bone itself or the joint I'm actually going to rotate because I have to set up my tweens first and I'll show you why. This is kind of the problem that occurs when you don't do that. So uh, I'm doing it the wrong way just to point this out first and then we're going to go into how to do it properly. Right. So uh, I'm going to, because I'm going to have the joints, which I've called them all shoulder joint, elbow joint, wrist joint. This is to keep me organized or help me to, to find the layer that I need quickly instead of hunting around for it. Then I've got an upper arm, a lower arm, and a hand. So I've got joints and I've got bones and I'm just kind of considering the hand as one full bone at this point in time. All right, so if I take the shoulder joint, if I'm gonna be rotating the joint and the bones coming along, I want the arm to be parented to the shoulder joint and then the elbow joint parented to the upper arm and so on and so on. And this is one of the reasons I have the layers set up in this order right now. And then what I can do is once I have them parented, I can kind of move them around. I can put the joints so that they're behind the bones or I can put the joints so they're in front of the bones. That's just the layer order. But right now, I just want to see how they're parented. And this one over here on the left-hand side is the topmost parent. So if I rotate that, um, it's going to rotate everything else down the chain. However, the problem is right now, if I don't have any kind of um, animation on it, if I don't have them converted to symbols and uh, no uh, motion tweening, it's not going to do anything. It needs motion tweening for it to work. So I'm going to undo that. So I'm, since I'm going to be doing the joints, I'm going to right click and create a motion tween on all the joints themselves. And it's, oh, it's giving me the message. It actually is appearing over here that it needs to be converted to a symbol. So I'm going to click OK. Uh, it's going to do that every time I, these things need to be symbols. And now you'll see that it popped way over here. So the problem is, is that when I convert this to a motion tween, after it's been parented, it, it kind of assumes some, um, some um, point over in space where it's actually pulling it over to, right? So the way around that, I'm going to undo. I'm going to undo this convert to symbol, right? The way around it is to parent after I actually set up my tweens. So I've unparented everything, and it was simple as that. The other way to do it is if you click in this area, you can put, uh, click remove tween, or sorry, remove parent. So in this case, if I want to uh, parent the upper arm to the shoulder, I can say shoulder joint, and it parents it that way. There's a little menu when I click that little gray area. Now when it's parented, I can click it again and remove parent. So it's all removed. Now I'm going to add my tweens. Create motion tween. 
it's going to give me that message again, which is popping up out of my view. And I'm going to click OK because it's converting it to a symbol. Now I could right click on these and convert them to symbols without doing that. But I'm going to go to every joint and I'm going to create motion tween. And you can't see it, but I'm going to click OK, converting it to a symbol. And again, wrist joint, create motion tween. And I'm going to click OK, converting it to a symbol. I know you didn't see that, but it was just off the screen. All right, so now the joints are all motion tweened. All right, now I can parent. So upper arm to shoulder, elbow to upper arm, lower arm to elbow, wrist joint to lower arm, and hand to wrist joint. Now when I click here and rotate, it all moves along. All right? So that's kind of the way around having it pop way over. Now, one of the other problems I've noticed is if you're using the 3D rotation tool, which you shouldn't really be using for this, it pops way over. That's my solution. Don't use this tool. <laughs> it just is problematic. It's not, it, you know, you're not using the right tool to animate what you're trying to animate. It pops way over. And I, I really can't explain why it's doing that, but just use the free transform tool or use the transform panel, right? And that you have the 3D rotation over here too, right? You can do this, but it's not doing the right thing. You can no notice clearly it just pops way off. Just use rotation. Do not worry about using the 3D rotation tool. I have not used that yet, uh, at least for these kind of assignments but um, that's what you should do.